this? That was a better reaction than we got. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, so, do you want to take it? Do you want to take a seat, or do you want to stand? It's up to you. Uh, I'll start. You stand. You want to stand here? Yeah. We're sort of sharing the mic here. So, yeah. um, you stand in the middle here, dude, and then I'll. So, uh, yeah, Colin told me to answer a few questions and stuff here. Yeah? So, um, we got 20 minutes. So, let's open the floor. Hello, how's it going? Uh, I saw someone's hand up there. Yes. Uh, nobody seems to talk about it, but it seems like Merlin's lowest with lots of symbolism, uh, spiritual meanings, deeper meanings. Is that what you talk about it? Is it in your awareness? Uh, personally, or is it acting? Or like, what can you talk about the upper? I think that's the thing with the fantasy show, is that it's, it has a basis. Uh, it has to have a basis in some kind of reality. Uh, the audience that watch it, I think, base it then in their reality. So whoever... Uh, it's in the eye of the beholder, I guess. So if you, if you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you get from it, um, that's that's absolutely a personal thing. And I think as as actors, we find our own personal way into it. And if that finds its way on screen a certain way, or if there's something that you feel about it, um, if that transcends and people like it and people feel connected, then then job done. No worries. Right at the back. I love accents. I mean, I love listening to, uh, you know, an accent's a huge part of uh, who someone is and, and, and where they're from and, and how, how they interact with people. And, and, uh, and I think it's a fascinating thing. And I'm lucky that I get to, to work in that respect and get to, get to transform. Oh. Uh, you were brilliant in Park, by Thank the way. You. Um, anything for the off season this year? I hope so. Um, you know, I'm a bit superstitious, so I won't count any chickens just yet. But, um, but yeah, I think so. <laughs> also, some first name. Yeah. What's your favorite place to visit? Favorite place to visit home. Besides home. Besides home. Home is where the heart is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Any home. place besides home? <laughs> We couldn't remember any of our lines. <laughs> 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 Alex, you were brilliant in Park, by the way. Um, anything for the off season this year? Um, anything for the off season? Yeah, I don't think we have anything this year. Um, I think we're going to have a few more things this year. Um, yeah, we're going to have a few more things this year. Um, yeah, we're going to have a few more things this year. There's, uh, I'll not say what it is because it'll ruin it, but um, hmm. but it was my favourite scene <laughs> to be a part of because <laughs> there was a ridiculous line and ridiculous lines within one scene that I've never experienced it on on that scale before. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't. I don't know if they could. I don't know if they even got a tape where one of us wasn't was not smiling at one stage. I've never hurt so much. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I had a line and you were laughing at my clothes. I was it. Yeah, I could have. I could have bound to pick with you. Actually. You know what? It was a really hard scene to do because it was written really oddly, and we were all just laughing. And then every time I came into my clothes, so Colin just cracked up, which is really unprofessional. And, and, and so if I'm really crap in that scene. That, that's my, my fault. Yeah. You know what? Someone asked him a really awkward question now just because he's reminded me about that. Yeah. What do they forget, Jesus? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Uh, yes. Uh, how do you feel about people saying your name wrong all the time? Like the other day, someone said Colin Murray. Colin Murray got your name wrong. Oh, people get my name wrong, do they? Oh, I, I didn't know. Uh, he does now. I'm obviously very perceptive of it, uh, you know, so, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, yes. Yep. Uh, so, we know that, uh, you know, you're very good at 
uh, for 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 him, uh, it's pro probably probably the the one that made him into a simpleton. Could have went down a very different route, and I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> uh, this is really popular. Is anyone aware? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I started doing theatre. Uh, that was my my first my first jobs were, were in theatre, um, and it's absolutely where where I as an actor feel like I'm working the hardest and working at my best. And um, unfortunately, you don't always get that time whenever you're filming. So yes, definitely. You at the back. Yep. Yep. A Merlin convention, purely, purely Merlin convention. I don't know. This boy here is the king of cons. It seems. Like. <laughs> so, you know, like, but we can't get one on the kiss. Um, I don't know. Not, not that I know of. Um, this, is, this is basically. This is basically. Yeah. This is. Yeah. <laughs> you do realise we all hate each other. You do. Yeah. <laughs> None of us talk to each other. Outside of, <laughs> outside of this room. Is, yeah. Uh, I well, you know, I played, I played the the young fella for, you know, sort of three years before the old guy came along. So I was kind of ready for a bit of a change uh, to to do something kind of, you know, shake out of that a bit. And it's good because um, it's a tool, you know, for for Merlin to use as. You know, he, he you know he's not genuinely being an old guy. He's 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 playing on the fact that old age gives you such a chance to say whatever the hell you want. Um, and it just so happens Bernard's got a lot to say that he hasn't said in a while. <laughs> Turn your phone off. <laughs> That's your next exciting guest star. Uh, uh, yes. So it's a question that was asked earlier, but what do you think of Merlin and Arthur as a <laughs> uh, I'll leave for you to think about that one. Uh, <laughs> yes. About pubs. It's only for about five days in England. It's never been to Scotland. And I worked in a town that was full of homeless and drug problems, and I was telling all my friends they really should see it. It's never gone under distribution. Do you know what's happened? Do you know why? Parks. Film clubs can't even get hold of it. Oh, really? The This is Parks, the film? Yes, Parks. Um, we, this this is going to sound like a plug. It isn't. You can get it on Amazon. Um, it's yes, but you uh, couldn't show it. To, I couldn't show it to colleagues. Oh, like as a, a screen. Yes, yeah. I want colleagues to see it. Okay. Um, uh, my advice is maybe if you go on to Ripple World. I've tried com. them. You've tried them as well. I've tried Elemental Films. I've tried the others. Well, you have actually <laughs> probably done as well. That's, that's um, Sean. God, I don't know. It's, it's something I don't. I, I, it's only had five days in London, and that's it. It's never been to Scotland. Yeah. And yet, Ireland was well supported in Scotland. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a shame because it, it's a film I believe in and it's a film I feel should be seen um, because cause there's a lot of hard work put into it and, um, and, and thanks for, for striving to get, to get it put on because that's... It's on Netflix? It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. It's just one of those things where, as, as an actor, I can only, I'm not sure what avenue to go down. Oh, thanks, my name. Cheers for that. Thanks for supporting me. <laughs> right, 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 right. Hi, uh, you guys can't remember your favourite lines now, but do you have any techniques that you use to learn your lines? Script. <laughs> <laughs> really helps. Um, that was, um, I know Bradley uses um, a dictaphone, doesn't he? He sort of records other people's. Um, well, he does like. He does a Richard Wilson impression, does that, and then responds back. Um, I don't know, because you. You keep your schedule in your head for like days on before, whereas some some people have the method of like learning the lines the night before. Um, depends how sort of your work ethic really. Everyone has a different technique, don't they? You sort of figure it out as you go along, and then you sort of latch onto it, and that's the one that you keep. Um. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, the variety, and um, yeah, working working with these guys as well. Like it is, it is a really good, it is, it is good fun, and uh, you know we're we're lucky to be doing it in the first place. I think I think it's the fact that you're getting to do what you've wanted to do. Yep. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the whole social media thing. If I want to chat to someone, I'll phone them. <laughs> Call me traditional, but. <laughs> Um, Owen's obviously made a great um, success of crowdfunding. Would you consider crowdfunding for a project that you wanted to do? Well, I think it's brilliant. I'm, I'm well impressed that, that that all you guys have turned up and done this and, and, and bought tickets and supported it in this way. It's 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 really, really good he is to do it. and Because I know from, from working on independent films how hard it is not only to get it off the ground and to get people together and to get money together, but the support and gathering that also. Um, you know, he, this fella has worked hard to do it, and, and you guys being here supporting that is amazing. So it's inspirational for me to think if there is a project or there is something to do that, um, that you know, you can do it. Get a band together, and we all believe in the same thing, hopefully. And, and, uh, and that's why you're all here. I think you all believe in it, and you want to support it, and you want to see the end result, and you're all part of it. And, uh, you know, thanks to you all for doing it. It's good. I'm going to Well, you should be after dinner speeches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. Who's the most clumsy on set? Clumsy. Tommy Watt. Tommy Watt. Yeah. That's why I got rid of him. He's just taking up too much time. <laughs> yeah. Tommy Watt. Yeah. He falls a lot. Chops a lot. So many times. Yeah, yeah. Literally at least once every week. <laughs> he would fall over at least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we find it really cool when you do your dragon calls. Can you do it? <laughs> 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 Only if there's a dragon around and then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a dragon over there. Somewhere. Well, <laughs> 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 there's no dragon. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll, see it, you'll see it later tonight. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yes? That I know Owen before I went on to Merlin. Uh, we're cousins, so we're really cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in Ireland is related. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't know him, no. Um, but uh, but like everyone in Ireland, we'd heard a lot about him. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to that. <laughs> See, you know, there's there's options. There's a top five, and we might choose one. Stay tuned. <laughs> yep. Do you have any other filming projects? Um, nothing that that I'll I'll, I'll say aloud um at, at at the minute uh until 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 things are more solid. But uh, but yeah, I hope so. Yep. How did you get started? How did I get started? Um, I. I always wanted to be an actor, uh, did all plays, loads of stuff at school, anything I could get myself involved in. Uh, studied uh, drama, Belfast, uh, went to drama school, um, you know, worked, worked like mad as well to try and to, you know, to get where you need to be as well. I think it's, it's just, if it's what you want to do, you'll do it. Somehow. You got told. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm hogging all the questions. Have you guys answered those questions this morning? Yeah, you, have you already done? No one cares what we say. No, no. Alright, okay. Alright, do you want me to do an. Okay, okay. We're going to, well, myself and Tom will do one quick question because yeah. just to kind of alleviate all the burden on Colin. So ask me a question. No? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, if it's about Colin, I'm not. No. <laughs> Could you ask <laughs> my, my question, because I think most of the women in here are too embarrassed to ask you, why were your tops off in the first two episodes of the show? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a Colin Morgan question. <laughs> Tom has it in his contract. Oh, yeah. uh, a certain percentage of screen time where he has to be topless. And I was unfortunate to be roped in with him, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also going to do the next question so we can return you. So, next question. Uh, down the back, hand up, grey top. Yes, you. Yes, yeah. No, 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 you're right. That was really awkward, wasn't it? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Probably, probably me, yeah. Sorry, Tom. Sorry, Tom. Now I'll ask you with the like, better yeah, yeah. I have nothing. Back 
to the contract. Yeah. Um, so Tom will answer the next question. I, I got, Thanks for all these. What kind of questions? <laughs> why are you an actor? I'm like, why are you taking off your clothes? Yeah. <laughs> yes, a clothes related question. What's your favourite stunt that you've ever done? Stunt? Can you remember anything? Um, I actually, this series I actually have to, I do, I run up a, a hill. <laughs> and that was quite good. <laughs> um, uh, it's kind of like a jog place. Uh, that was good. Uh, I don't know, just jumping around in that. There's been quite a few where I just jump around and do that sort of thing oh, with a sword. The best thing we had was with the haystack. Remember off the, oh, the, the, the yeah. That was an awesome stuff. You can answer that. Did you see? I mean, is that the antics where he falls off the wall? Is it? Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, yes. no, no, no. I got to clarify this, right? Did not fall. You were there. It was a stone that came off the wall. If you don't back me up in this one, <laughs> yeah, there, there, there was a stone. <laughs> well, there was. You're right. There was. It was a loose stone wall, and you went up. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't tell if you're acting now or not. Because no, it, it specifically told us because there, there were stunt doubles there ready to do it on the day. Uh, but, yeah, there were stunt doubles there on the day to to do it for us, and then and then you fell off, and then they thought, oh, they could probably do it. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works, so this kind of thing for being able to jump in the yeah. you know. It was, not, was, it was good fun. Yeah, yeah. They won't let us do anything in case we see. Basically, they're like, no, you don't, you're not allowed to do any stunts in case you hurt yourself. And it makes no sense to me. But then, like this year, every time Tom did something, he'd pretty much break his ankle or do this. I mean, unbelievable! <laughs> 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 Uh, I've realised. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've actually got to provide uh, bad news now. We actually have one more question for Colin because he has to shoot. So uh, make it a good one. Okay. I feel like this should, this should be like a fight for us. Just, just, just fight it out. Right. I'm going to close my eyes and, and whoever wants to ask a question and screams the loudest. <laughs> In the direction that whoever is the loudest. Is that fair? Yeah. Alright. Yes. Okay, up to three. One, two, three. That was you, definitely. That was Sonic, there's dogs all over the room. That's actually it's impressive. I think the dragon call in doing that man. It's one of this new dragon call. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, um, my question. question. The way back in season one, um, there, uh, there was a, an interview with Bradley when he said he thought that when you claimed to have magic instead of when, Arthur actually knew and he was protecting him. So that, do you have any concept that Arthur has an idea that Merlin has magic and that he's kind of deliberately not seeing it? Or? Um, I, I don't think he specifically knows Merlin has magic. Um, however, you're going to see as this as this. As this series goes on, that there is a lot more conf direct confrontation and direct reference to him having to deal with it, and, and uh, as a result, having to deal with uh, with, with Merlin and what, and what that means, and and, um, and you're gonna you're gonna see that a lot more in terms of him knowing specifically. I don't think so, but you're gonna see some awesome developments. Thank you. Thank you very much.